Hi guys, this is Pamela Price, your Master Spray Tan Class Trainer from Toronto, Canada, as well as the owner of Priceless Beauty. Um, today, I just want to share with you a few tips for my sunless artists who are looking to become the experts in the bridal industry. So if you don't already know, the bridal industry is absolutely huge. The average bride has approximately $33,000 as her budget for the wedding. But the odd thing is, is that spray tanning gets overlooked so many times when it comes to weddings. They really don't realize the importance and how much difference a spray tan can make on their wedding day. We know the difference. We understand how a spray tan looks in photos. We understand how a spray tan looks on the body when they're wearing a white dress. We understand the importance. However, brides, they're just not educated about this. There's a lot of misconceptions about spray tanning. People are nervous about spray tanning and other bridal vendors who could be great resources for you are just not referring people over to spray tan artists because they just aren't educated about it. So it is our job to share the knowledge and the love for spray tanning so that our brides can benefit and so can our pockets. <laughs> the average bride has approximately three services, three to five, depending on how you know big her wedding is, that she could definitely use a spray tan for. So she also has about five bridesmaids approximately in her wedding. And that is equivalent to about 18 services per wedding. So if you spray about, if you charge about $55 per spray tan, that is roughly $990. So that is $990 of revenue from basically one wedding. So if you were to do say 60 weddings per year, add that up and your revenue is going to grow exponentially as a result of focusing on the bridal industry. So how can we do this? First of all, you want to ask yourself if you want to become the bridal beauty specialist. Is that what you want to be known for? Is that what you want to specialize in? Because once you do that, you are going to kind of put yourself into a niche. So first decide if gay, yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> and then once you've made that decision, then you can start creating a game plan for really executing the expertise, um, at least in terms of what people are going to consider you. I trust that you already know how to create a beautiful spray tan for your clients. If they're going to a wedding or wherever they're going, but your clients don't know this. So you need to start, you know, speaking this message on your different platforms, on your platforms, on your Facebook, on your Instagram, um, on your website and, and so forth. So you need to start sharing content that is relevant to brides. So you need to start posting photos of brides with beautiful spray tans. Stop. Um, stop this bad misconception that spray tans are orange and that it's a scary thing for brides. It is not a scary thing. It is executed well. The spray tan is going to enhance your look so much. So getting on your social media with that beautiful bridal content is going to be so important. Creating packages for your brides is another great one. So that way when they are looking into the services you provide, they're like, hey, she has bridal services for spray tanning. This is going to help her feel very confident in the fact that you really do cater to brides and you know what they need and what they expect. Another thing that my bridal clients really like is um, contour spray tanning. So this is really great if they're going on a honeymoon after, they might be showing off some skin or dress on, dress off, body it looks beautiful with the spray tan. Also facial contouring has been extremely popular and the makeup artists love this. <laughs> Um, another big one is similar technique as contouring because it's used with the same gun, which is an airbrush gun or an HBLTV gun that has a contour setting is a tan line correction. So I know we've all seen these horrendous tan lines and it just doesn't look very nice when you're wearing a strapless wedding dress. So we want to neutralize any um, discoloration, farmer's tans, funky tan lines with um, this airbrush technique. And this is something that brides really, really like. So that is a game changer for sure. So if you don't currently offer those services, that's something you definitely want to look into and consider. And I can share some more information about where you can learn more about that at the end. Um, what else do I want to say? Uh, in terms of service, um, other things just by offering like a longer time slot. So I call it the VIP, the very important bribe. She gives a special service and that includes um, more time to dry her off. I like to use a sparkly pink setting powder. This one is so nice and it smells good. 
and I just dust it all over the body. Like I dry the whole body and then I dust it all over the body and brides are like, Ooh, they get so excited um, about this part. And also they're dry, completely dry. So that way, you know, that when they go to put their clothes on and leave, or if you're offering a mobile service, you know, when you leave that their tan is flawless. And as long as they don't get splashed with water, then they're going to look perfect for their wedding day. So giving them that extra great experience like obviously you want to treat all of your clients special but brides like they get go far beyond and above <laughs> okay another thing I want to share is your branding so wedding industry kind of has its own vibe so if you look at other bridal beauty professionals um, or any wedding vendors like florists photographers things like that you will see that they have like this bridal vibe so when you're creating your content and when you're kind of sharing this information on your platforms, you want to consider having this type of vibe. So when I think of a bridal vibe, I think light, airy, um, sparkly, flowers, pink, <laughs> very feminine, romantic, right? So if you have super dark, drastic spray tans on your um, social media, that might not resonate with most brides. Typically, they're looking for something that's very light, very natural, almost like you can't tell she had a spray tan, but she's just glowing. So I call it the bridal glow, which is a very uh, low percentage of DHA that I usually spray most of my bridal clients with. Also, I use uh, solutions that have very little bronzer in them, so they're less likely to transfer onto any garments. And giving them a good window of time like 48 hours before their event so they have time to shower twice to definitely ensure that all the topical bronzer is rinsed off so again creating that special experience for your bride is going to be so important i could keep renting all day about this but we have all this information in another place where we go into much more detail much more depth and that is the spray tan class masterclass. So in the spray tan class masterclass, we have an entire module dedicated just for spray tanning for sunless artists. So if this is something that you're thinking that, hey, I want to um, dig a little bit deeper on this topic. I definitely want to uh, work my way into the bridal industry and I want to become a sunless expert in the bridal industry. Then I want you to head over to www.spraytanclass.com and click on the master's course and we will be going into much more depth and much greater understanding and sharing a lot more tips, tricks and hacks in order to get yourself um, really to be considered the expert in your industry. I want you to dominate your area as a sunless um, bridal beauty expert. Thanks so much for joining. And of course, if you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out at Spray Tan Class Instagram or my personal Instagram, Priceless Beauty Graham. That is all for today. I love you guys. Have a great one.